As the federal government continues to work on a peaceful solution to end the anti-pipeline blockades, the country's rail system remains at a standstill. This Edmonton couple was planning a trip with Via Rail, but now they don't know what to do. What frustrates me is when blockades are happening and it shuts down the entire service and it causes havoc. Stephanie Smeeter and her husband Timothy Appleby were planning on moving to Halifax in May to help an ailing family member. My father is ill. He's got dementia. I need to get back to him. The couple are both visually impaired and decided that their best travel option is to take the train. They say they can't drive and flying is too expensive. Timothy tells me he tried contacting via rail but could not get a straight answer on if the service would be up and running by the spring. Unfortunately, not Nothing happened after that. Nobody responded. In a statement to City News, a spokesperson for Via Rail said passengers can make a reservation for future trips. However, we encourage them to follow the situation closely as we do and to visit our website on a regular basis so they stay informed on the status of their train travel. Stephanie says it's difficult not knowing when the anti-pipeline demonstrations will end. I mean, stand up for their rights, yes, but don't block commerce, don't block industry. It's really hurting a lot of people. For now, the couple says they're going to hold off booking their move to Halifax. They want to wait until they see some semblance of a resolution. From Edmonton, Sherolta Saskew, City News.